If you told most people in the world, I can guarantee you success if you work your butt off and you will get it, most people would say, yes, I'll do it. Not all, but most. But what happens once you reach a great level of success, regardless if it's in your career, your relationships, your business, your health, the list goes on. Do you sit there and become complacent or do you work harder? Today, I'm going to be breaking down some simple yet effective tips on how to maintain success. You ready? Let's go. It doesn't matter what arena or where in life you're at. If you're willing to work really hard to gain a goal and achieve that goal, you have to really focus on maintaining it. Now, a lot of times you see people losing weight because they go on extreme diets or people that get in great shape get strong muscles because they worked out a lot. The list goes on and on. Unfortunately, a lot of those people tend to go back to their old ways, their old habits and gain weight and sometimes become more unhealthy than when they first started. So sometimes we have to step back, breathe and realize that, wait a minute, let me give myself a, a high five. I got the level of success in my health and fitness, but now I have to maintain it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is so inevitable. In health and fitness, amongst every other topic, you have to, and I repeat, you have to maintain and be consistent. Once you've reached your goal, you have to make sure you continue eating a certain way so you can stay feeling like that and looking like that for the rest of your life. Let's talk about relationships. A lot of times we do whatever it takes to put ourselves out there. Say we want a new boyfriend, a new girlfriend. We get in great shape, like I said previously. We get in a great mind space. We become balanced within and we attract that right individual in our life. And it feels great, right? I know you've been through it before. You said, oh my God, finally, I deserve this beautiful human being that stepped into my life. What happens once you've gotten this new boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife? You don't just sit back and look pretty and say, oh, I hit the lotto. You gotta actually continue working at it. And what I mean by working at it, you gotta make sure you're feeling good, you're looking good to be the best version of yourself for your partner and always be working on yourself and the partnership. If you're growing, your partnership will grow, but it takes two to tango. Can I say that again? It takes two to tango. So make sure you're doing your part, your partner's doing their part, and gradually you grow and grow and grow. So remember, getting the boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, yes, that's a task in itself, but once you reach that level of success, that's when you have to work to me, in my opinion, much harder and you will be happier. Now let's talk about business. Say you've worked your butt off, you've been in college, you've been doing overtime at so many careers and finally you found the job of your dreams. Or maybe you're an entrepreneur, you finally have a business for yourself. You're saying, wow, I did it, this feels good, I'm working for a huge company, I got a great boss, or I have my own company, I am the boss. But what happens then? Do we sit back and say, okay, well, I'm a boss, good things are gonna happen to me, or hey, I work for a great company, now it's my time? No, this is when you need to step it up. This is when you really have to work harder, show your boss, show your employees that you are a go-getter, that you did everything that you had to do to get here, but you're gonna work even harder to have longevity, and most importantly, have maintenance. Maintenance and consistency is the key to not only get the success, but to keep it for the rest of your life. See, I'm breaking down a lot of simple things that a lot of you may have heard before, but unfortunately, we don't apply it. Just like when I talk about journaling, writing down your thoughts, writing down your dreams, writing down things that you are grateful and thankful for. These are daily tasks that train your brain. Our brain is a blueprint of what we've known through life. Sometimes we have to rewire it to really become the best version of ourselves and to ultimately live the life that we desire and are worthy of. I hope these tips have helped you. If you have any questions whatsoever, send me comments below. 
hit me with a thumbs up, and most importantly, share this with your friends because at the end of the day, if you're doing great, your friends are doing great, you're growing together, and most importantly, living the life that you want to have. Make sure you subscribe to my website, jasonrosell.com. The link is on the description below. Why? I have different specials, previews on TV shows, and many more discounts and goodies that you are gonna love. Have a beautiful day, and as always, mind right, body tight.